Oh, I see a grasshopper. The key to catching the grasshoppers is to let them jump one time and then grab them on the ground when they're disoriented trying to prepare for another jump. I have never caught grasshoppers in the wild, toasted them and eaten them. And that's what's about to happen right now. Because these guys are just too hefty and they're everywhere and they're just asking to be eaten. If I get over the hump with this one, then this might be a regular delicacy. Look how big that thing is. I've increased my set of skills. I've put on a lot of weight. I went into Patagonia much thinner, thinking that I needed to be a little bit more streamlined so I could function on a lower caloric input. I realized that was part of my downfall, so I've spent the last couple of months just eating like a ridiculous fat man. So here we go. Now it looks like this, just charred. So uh, here we go. No time like the present, right? And here we go. And here we go. You're dead, right? Oh yeah, you're dried. All right, one, two, three. Well there, that actually wasn't bad. That actually wasn't bad. What did it taste like? Like an unseasoned, very, very charred hamburger. And it was a sizable cockroach. I mean, I got some protein out of that. And you can put right on the bottom of the screen how much protein each grasshopper has right now. Oh, that's more than I thought. Cool. I'm over the hump. I'm a grasshopper eater. Watch out, you hopping sons of bitches, because they're everywhere. I got two more in my pocket. Damn, that made me feel good. I like that I can just walk around, find these grasshoppers, charm, and eat them. I'm going to make a whole pot of grasshoppers. Sit back and eat them like popcorn and watch the sunset, because I'm in Mongolia. And I know I'm going to be the last one standing this time. 